So for example, this one here will maximize the window. So when I left mouse click, it fills up the whole screen. And the same exact button will then restore it back to normal. That's the nice thing about having a virtual or digital button is that the button can do different things depending on what it did previously. And then if we click on this minimize, oh no, our file disappeared. What do we do? You don't have to be scared or nervous. All you do is go back down, take the mouse down to the taskbar and put the mouse over the folder. Find the one that says documents because that's what we were in. If you only have one folder open, that's all that there's going to be. Bring the mouse up to documents, left mouse click, and it's back again. Okay, we're done playing with this now. So the owner of this computer always tells his computer tutoring students to X to exit. So almost all programs, including on the internet, if you hit the X, left mouse click on the X, then you will close the program. There you go. Wasn't that nice and easy? The right mouse click gives you a menu, as I mentioned before. So if we right mouse click right on the desktop, we can make a new folder and straighten up this messy desktop. So, what did I say we wanted to make? A new folder. And now, we left mouse click for the action of making the folder. My new folder and remember what we did to get rid of the start menu we click somewhere else well the same exact skill applies here we just click somewhere else and that sets the name my new folder and when we double click on my new folder then that opens up just like the documents did and we can do the same exact thing to my new folder as we did to the documents folder. So once you learn one skill, it's good for a whole lot of different things. And there's several ways to clean up this mess that we made here. Okay. For example, we can drag and drop. Now, you've already done dragging and dropping, believe it or not. Dragging and dropping means that you left mouse click on the object, and then you drag it, and then you release your mouse, which means you dropped it. And we did that same thing to move the window. So I'm going to close the window so it's out of the way. X to exit and we are going to drag and drop this icon this little picture into my new folder so it's gone now we dragged it and dropped it into my new folder uh oh do we know for sure that it's there let's double left mouse click on it I've never heard of anyone ever double right mouse clicking. So whenever someone says double click, then you then you double left mouse click. And there it is. So let's X to exit again to get it out of the way. And another way to move something is to cut and paste it. Now, what do we do to cut? Hmm, I'm not sure. So let's right mouse click right on this icon and get a menu and see if we can do it that way. Oh, look at that. There it is. Cut. So let's left mouse click for the action of cutting. 
And now this time, let's take let's take it easy on ourselves, and let's actually double click on this folder to open it up. This way, we'll be able to watch it go right in. So. Here's what we just cut right now. You see how that's a little bit kind of a more transparent color? So now inside this folder, let's right mouse click again, anywhere in this white area. And now we're going to paste it. So we cut and paste. Left mouse click for the action of paste. And once again, there's our graphic, our icon.